happening to our drinking water supply. Jamaica is predominantly limestone geology, eh? and we have uh, limestone geology, I have a lot of caves and sinkholes. And in fact, through limestone, the water actually goes through faster, much faster than, than, than other types of geological structures. Um, so in the case of Jamaica, where we have so much limestone and so much cave, the fact that the water, and the fact that the water passes through so rapidly, it means that the amount of filtration that you would normally get underground, you don't get as much in Jamaica. So the f when, when, when there's contamination, a lot of the contamination may still pass through right, without being removed. The, the groundwater source that we saw near to that cave, uh, the water looked fairly clear and pure. Um, can you speak about whether clarity bears any, any, any indication at all of the actual purity of a water source? To some extent, it does. Because when you're speaking about pollution, you think of pollution as a change in the concentration of a particular substance in the water that makes it uh, unfit for use. Whatever is it for drinking, is it for agriculture or what? Um, let's say if I had some water that was turbid, if that was, was, had a lot of suspended particles in it, um, even though the bacterial contamination may not be high, people still wouldn't drink it because they would say it's dirty. So to some extent, yes, that, 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 that applies. However, the fact that it's clear is just because it has traveled underground and whatever particles were suspended in it, right from the detritus, from the garbage or whatever, it has been filtered out through the rock. But bacteria is still present. The bacteria, all the bacteria is not filtered out. And even if some is filtered out, once it comes to the surface, and there's food available. Once, if there's even one bacteria in it, eh, bacteria in it, and it has food, it will multiply. So you can't see a, a clarity of water is not an indication of bacterial contamination. And another thing is that a lot of these contaminants are dissolved in the water because water is the best known solvent. It is a universal solvent. Most things are solved in water. So a lot of the things are dissolved in the water. You can't see it. Case in point is, you get some water from your tap sometimes, or from a stream, whatever. It looks clear. You boil it in your kettle or a pot. Yeah, it looks clear. But over a period of time, you notice that there are some deposits in your container to use for 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 boiling. Those th those those deposits that you see are actually substances that were dissolved in the water. So the water looked cleared. It looked clean looked everything that was right, yeah? but still it had substance that were dissolved in, which could be harmful to your health. Is, is there anything the Water Commission, or you representing the Water Commission, can advise to people when it comes to the, the safety, the security of their groundwater drinking source? Well, uh, the first thing you have to bear in mind is that you need to protect yourself and you need to protect your fellow countrymen, right? The fact of the matter is that <clears throat> you have to apply good practices. Now, like dumping waste in, say, your rivers, your streams, your caves, that is a no-no. That is definitely a no-no, because then you put yourself at risk and you put others at risk. One particular issue that I'd heard of was people placing latrines over sinkholes. Could, could you just comment on that? Yes. Um, the thing about latrines and sinkholes is, 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 is a very important one. Because you have these sinkholes, right? The most uh, well, the, 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 the rock underneath is porous. So you find that when people build latrines over these, these, these sinkholes, they think it's a, a good idea. Because the pit never fills up, basically. Or it takes a long time to fill up. Eh? But the fact of the matter is that that waste that they are putting into it is soaking away and ending up 
in your water supply somewhere else. It could be your very own water supply. Could you comment on the level of knowledge that the Water Commission or other agencies have on where groundwater comes from, where it's going to, etc.? Well, in, with respect to the National Water Commission, I'll start there. We have uh, a hydrogeologist in, in, in our organization, and that hydrogeologist actually does those geological and hydro, hydro, hydrologic studies to, to, to see where it is suitable for us to drill wells and where water is available. Um, in, in, in conjunction with that, we have a, a, a water quality department that investigates the quality of the water that we actually did from the source to the, the, the consumer's home. So in that sense, because every source that the Water Commission has, it monitors it on a daily basis for bacterial contamination, right? And we, we, do, our, we, we do our trend analysis to see if uh, there's, a, there's a decrease in the, in the quality of the water that we have, right? Um, the Ministry of Health also does some monitoring of, of the water sources for, 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 for contaminants. I think more so bacterial contaminants more than anything else. So okay. there's a monitoring system in place. What can people do who are not near a major place where there might have been testing or, or, or a water supply? Well, I think uh, this video is a good place to start. If you, you come across this video and you see signs of what is happening in that video, in your area, then maybe you could, 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 could contact the Ministry of Health and say that, hey, you have a concern. You have seen this video. You have seen the, 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 the negative impact that these practices that you have seen in the video can have, and you, you've seen these practices at play in your community. You can now contact the Ministry of Health um, with your concern, and they should be able to provide some, some information after they've done their testing, some information on to what the quality of the water is okay. like. Our very existence depends on water, literally and otherwise. So I would want to implore us all to protect this resource with our life in order that we can continue to have life. And, and along with that, perhaps protecting caves and sinkholes. Exactly, because those are a part of the network of water resource. All right, well, thank you so much for your time, Mr. Yes. Magro. It's been a pleasure speaking with you.